Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Flutter for Beginner series. In my previous videos, I have shown how you can install Flutter on Windows operating system and Ubuntu or Linux operating system. In this video, I will show how you can install Flutter on macOS. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Let me quickly open a browser window and then search for Flutter. Then click on the Flutter dev link. On this page, just click on get started. Now click on macOS. Here are the system requirements. Flutter requires Git and Xcode to be installed on macOS. If you install Xcode, Git will be installed automatically. Let me open the App Store and search for Xcode. Then click on Xcode Developer Tools. Then click on the cloud icon or if you see get icon just click on it. This is a big file so it will take some time to download and install. So I'll come back when the installation is finished. As you can see Xcode has been installed successfully. Let me go back to the browser. If you are installing Flutter on Apple Silicon Mac just copy this command line and paste it in the terminal. Since I am using Intel chip I will not do that. Now we'll download the Flutter SDK. Depending on your system, either click on Intel or Apple Silicon blue button and it will start downloading. It may take some time, so I'll come back when the download is finished. So the download is finished. Let me open it in Finder. Now I'll move this zip file to my home folder. So, so let me open a new Finder window. and go to my home folder. Now I'll drag this file to my home folder and double click it to unzip it. As you can see the file has been unzipped. Let me go back to the browser. Now we'll add Flutter to the path. Let me show the hidden files and folder on my home folder by pressing command shift and dot. Now we will open the terminal to see whether I am using G shell or bash shell. As you can see I am on the G shell. If you are not sure you can check your shell by typing echo dollar shell and press return. As you can see I am currently using the G shell. Now let's go back to the home folder. We'll create a Josh RC file here. So let me open a text editor. Now I'll copy the Flutter path directory. And paste it inside the text edit. Let me hide the hidden files and folders by pressing command shift and dot. Now I'll click on Flutter and go inside the bin folder. Then just click on get info. Then copy the directory and replace it in the path. Let me save this file. I will rename it to dot joshrc and save it on my home folder. I will also uncheck the dot txt extension. Then click on save and then use dot. Now we have updated our Flutter path. If I show hidden files and folder again, you can see it here. Let's open a terminal window and type in Flutter and press return. As you can see Flutter has been installed successfully in our system. So let me clear the window. And copy and paste the iOS setup for Xcode. Type in my password and press return. 
Now I'll open Xcode for the first time to accept the license agreement. As you can see the Xcode and iOS SDK license agreement just popped up. So just go through it and click on agree. Confirm it with your password. It will go ahead and install the necessary components. Now we'll run Flutter Doctor to see what else we need to install. As you can see Cocoa Pods is not installed. So we'll go ahead and copy and paste this command in the terminal. Let me clear the window. And now we'll run Flutter Doctor again. As you can see Android Studio is not installed. So we'll go ahead and install Android Studio. Let me click on the Android Studio link. And then I'll click on download Android Studio. Accept the terms and conditions. And download for either Intel or Apple chip. Click on keep, this will take some time, so I will come back when the download is finished. As you can see Android Studio has been downloaded. Let me show it in Finder. Now I will simply double click it and drag Android Studio in the application folder. So Android Studio has been installed. Let me eject the Android Studio setup. Now I'll open the Android Studio. Click on open. And OK. Click on next. In the install type window, I'll go with the standard installation. Then I'll select the light theme and then simply click on next. Then go through the Android SDK license, click on accept and then click on finish. Now it will go ahead and download and install the necessary components. This will take some time so I'll come back when the download and installation is finished. As you can see the installation has been finished so let me just click on finish. So welcome to Android Studio. Now I'll click on more actions and then SDK manager. Make sure Android SDK is selected on the left panel and then click on SDK tools. Check the Android SDK command line tools latest. Then click on apply and OK. So it will go ahead and install the SDK components. When the installation is finished just click on finish and then click on OK. Next click on plugins and search for Flutter. Select the Flutter plugin and then click on install and then click on accept. Flutter requires Dart to be installed so just click on install. Then click on the restart IDE and then restart. As you can see new Flutter project can be seen in the welcome window. So Android Studio has been successfully set up for Flutter development. Now I'll open the terminal window and type in Flutter Doctor again. As you can see there is only one issue left. We just have to accept the Android licenses. So copy this command and paste it. and press return. Type in Y to accept all the licenses one by one. Let me clear the window and run Flutter Doctor again. As you can see all the components have been installed perfectly.
I have already installed Visual Studio Code on my system. If you do not have VS Code installed on your system, you can simply go ahead and install it. So in the end, there will be no issues to be found. Now you can go ahead and start developing Fruiter apps on your Mac. And as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment below. See you in the next one. Bye.